All right, so this is one of the covers that I need to put on. Um, and it actually goes right there. It's a little bit of a pain to put, but uh, it's one of the covers that my car has been missing for a while. So I finally got one. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and install it carefully. Um, it just goes right there. One more thing that I've been missing is this uh, cover for the ignition coil. So I'm about to install that guy. It's actually right over there. So it's a little bit tight fit, but I'll try to install it. Hell yeah, boys are working. Me too. Far away from everybody. I'm a lonely guy, right, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Right, guys i'm finally done prepping this seat for paint um, and restoration it took me a while because i had to clean a lot of these crevices because they were so dirty uh, i used these uh, rags and uh, yeah i cleaned it all up and then eventually after i was done cleaning everything here the final coat that i put is was just uh, i took some gasoline and i went uh, through the whole seat with gasoline and uh, that way i can get rid of any grease or possible oily spots uh, on it before painting it. All right guys, so the seat is all dry, ready to go, ready for paint. Make sure it's all clean. All right, make sure all these crevices are clean, no dirt in there. Make sure everything is degreased and then you're ready to paint. This is what it looks like after the first coat. Just gonna wait a little bit and paint it again. All right, guys, I'm done installing the rear bench seat. Okay, uh, and the results are amazing. I'm really happy about that. It's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, so this is how it looks like. Uh, it's so beautiful. As you can see, it's a little different color because this uh, I haven't restored this uh, uh, bench right here. I just I only installed the bottom uh, part of the rear seat. Uh, and it looks amazing actually as you can see like it's all refreshed it's all beautiful and everything and then later on I will actually take this guy out and then the rear shelf and I'll restore those as well but as of right now I'm just loving the results guys it's so beautiful amazing car amazing results okay guys so these carpets are ready to be redyed. as you can see they're a different color uh, my 
color um, on 190E is Palomino. So I will be actually re-dyeing these uh, front carpets and I'll make them look really nice. I already cleaned them up, so they're drying up right now. And then after that, I will start dyeing them. Um, they will look really nice at the end and uh, they will finally match our interior. So as you can see guys, these are pretty sun faded. They're pretty ugly. I tried cleaning them, but again, I mean, they're not gonna be as perfect. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I'll take them out, clean them again and re-dye them and they will be amazing again. guys so the back seat is removed completely as you can see right here and right now i'm getting ready to pull this uh rear shelf out because i'll be cleaning everything and restoring it and re-dyeing as well the biggest the biggest thing will be this back cushion right here that i have to actually uh restore uh, so that's what we're doing today uh, a lot of work a lot of cleaning a lot of uh restoration so a bunch of stuff has been removed I'm gonna leave that tray in place, that bin, remove the speakers, and now I'm gonna slowly remove this carefully. I have to be really careful because this is fragile, and I also removed the third brake light. It's a pain to remove this rear shelf, but in order to remove this, you have to remove this tray actually for the first aid kit. To do it, you have to go from the trunk and push all these tabs in and then it's gonna push out eventually and then you just carefully remove it like so oops but yeah there it is now i can clean everything here and then this stays in place the lid and now this will come out slowly towards you i have to make sure you're being really careful but this is loose already, so it's gonna come out. And also this had two plastic clips, one on each side. You also need to disconnect this, the rest of the connector for the brake, third brake light switch. Simply lifts up and then it goes through this hole out and you're left with just a shelf. Guys, everything is removed here. She's all naked now, and uh, I'm gonna be cleaning everything here from all the dust and garbage. And uh, I also saw a piece of uh, glass, so that probably means that this glass has been broken at some point and replaced in the past. But it has original Mercedes glass, which is good. Uh, and everything else at this point, I just have to clean a bunch of this stuff and these speakers are a little dusty too. So I will definitely go ahead and clean everything here. Make it awesome. So I just cleaned it all up. Everything looks really nice and clean and I'm gonna be ready to uh, re-dye this uh, rear um back seat and uh i'm super excited actually because it's pretty faded as you guys can see uh, ugly uh, but i'm ready to make it look like new again
It's also a great idea to clean the bottom of the windshield, with I, which I just did. And another thing is to check for rust in those channels. My car, thank God, everything looking pretty good. Another thing before I install this uh, shelf on, is I wanna lubricate these uh, hinges right there, and these bushings, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab automatic trans fluid, and I will lubricate those on both sides. Now open and close the trunk a couple times so the fluid can actually get through.